Maybe I can zoom in on it and figure out what it is. Yeah, what is that? Oh yeah! Woo! Uh, yeah! Boy! Wow, stupid. morning everybody it's still pitch black outside so you know what that means wahoo fishing and I found one bad thing about the TRX is when it's super early like this I feel terrible because when I turn it on it's super loud it's gonna wake all my neighbors up <laughs> I guess it's the one drawback but here we go yeah she's pretty loud Yep, it's four in the morning. You know, we do it early when it comes to Wahoo. So I got a text last night from Jordan, who's a subscriber, and uh, he invited me out to go fishing with him. He's in Key Largo today. He's fishing with his buddy Blake. And apparently they got a good system down to catching some fish. They were trolling planers on electric reels, and they got a tuna rod out. So we're gonna do that, maybe pick up some Wahoo, some Kingfish, some tuna. Maybe we'll learn something new. Should be a good time. We're here in Key Largo and we're gonna be heading right offshore, right off to the reef's edge. And that's where the hunt's gonna begin. Well, in the six years that I've lived here, I never knew that there is a boat ramp back here. This is sick. All right. This is a pretty cool spot back here. I didn't even yeah. know this existed. Yeah. I just live right up the road. Yeah. <laughs> so it was nice to meet you in yeah. person. Yeah, nice to meet you too. So I know Blake, I'm not going, I have to work today. Um, I just happened to get up early to make sure and he sleeps over in another room over there. We, we rent two other rooms too, just for the month of June. Okay, so and you guys come down every year? Yeah, and st we've stayed in this cottage for 19 years now. Oh, wow. So, hey, what's going on? How you doing, nice man? Nice to meet you, Blake. Blake? Yeah. Heck yeah. All right, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, thanks for joining me, man. Oh, I'm excited. Nice you want some coffee? I would yeah. take some if you're gonna get some. Yeah, I'm just gonna go to the Circle K, I'll be back. <laughs> I got an early start today. Normally, I'm the one that's slacking. Hi. <laughs> What'd you get up at four and work out again? No, I did not work out this morning. I thought about it. Nice, so you got like access to golf carts and stuff oh, yeah. in here? That's pretty sick. Right. Ice ready to go, hopefully we need it. I know, I've gone out with him five times in the last like two weeks and every time, Wahoo. Every really, day. damn. Oh yes, you guys got all your bait strips. Dude, you wait. guys buy these or make them yourself? Well, he usually Please. makes them, but uh, we were running low, so I ran up to Yellow Bait House and got those. Okay, That's nice. A highway robbery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. Like, the, it's actually crazy how expensive bait is these days. Right, so. Like, a box of like frozen baits, like twenty bucks. All right. Um, usually this bag I need somewhere easy accessible. Probably just put it up here. That's the. Key. When something exciting happens, I run and grab this camera here. <laughs> fish on! Fish on! Fish on! All right, we made it out here. We got Jordan driving us into the battle. We also got Blake back there rigging up. Apparently, Blake's gonna got all the secrets to catch big fish. But uh, what are we gonna do today? We go out, troll some planers, uh, try to get tight on a wahoo. Hopefully a black fin. Let's get to it. We'll wait for the sun to come up so we can film a little more because it's pitch black. Got an early start today, but here we go. All right, this is the feather going way back. All right, one rod way back. I usually fish singles, but I know with Wahoo, so that's a Bonita strip right there you got rigged up. All right, Bonita strip on a sea witch on the electric reel. Woo! And then on a planer. So how far do you have the uh, the planer to the bait? Like a hundred feet? Yeah. And I have a swivel that connects mono to uh, 25 feet up from the bait. Oh yeah. That's the smart way to do it so you can clip it off. And I'm already making a mess. My coffee's all over the boat. So we got one feather way back, one planer far, one planer close. And we got a sunrise. All right, fish on on the on the feather. I did this to myself. I put it out way too far. Come to daddy. Is that him? Do I see him over there? No. My oh shit. Stay on top. No, he's trying to go back down. Come here, buddy. Wow. 
Woo! Oh, that's a that's a decent blackfin right there. Holy smokes! No, that's a solid blackfin. Where are we bleed them out in in the live well? Right oh, in the bucket. Yeah, let's get a little rinse on. Yeah, he had a bloody face. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Damn, that's a beautiful tuna right there. Yeehaw! All right. Breakfast. Oh, you got a bite on there? I think so. Oh, shit. oh, he's ripping drag. Was he just sucking line out of there? Yeah. Oh, no. He broke off? Damn. That was a decent fish. There's a wahoo on there? Oh, something's twitching on there. Grab the yeah, this one right here. The black one or the bamboo? Uh, yeah, bamboo. All right. Hey, another black fin. Yeah. He ate at the bonita strip. Wow. Yeah. It's looking good. She's shaking. Yeah. Ooh, what? what are you thinking? Tuna, wahoo. Might be a wahoo. This one? Oh, yeah. He was out there, huh? Yeah. All right. Yellowfin tuna. Man, my arms are tired. Yeah. You need a break from cranking? Yeah. I'll take over. <laughs> good old kingfish. Your face? I do love smoked kingfish. That is good. You got a smoker? Yeah. Traeger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is that? Barracuda? Oh yeah, he's surfing hardcore. Oh. Big boy. Wow, look at that face. Oh, -ho! woo! Perfect. Now this is fishing. Look, I brought them eggs if you want some. You want a blue egg? Yeah. Get him in, get him in. He's skipping across the surface. We got another bite on the feather way back probably another tuna I might limit out on blackfin tuna like at this rate all right chunky monkey another beautiful blackfin yeah you have a fish still on there I think so. it got a lot smaller it got smaller <laughs> that happens sometimes Barry. barracuda uh, that's a big one too Hold him up. Oh. <laughs> that was a big boy. I love barracuda for chunk bait for deep dropping. You call that one. That blackfin's shooting through the air. Nice. Another one. Another beauty. Alright. I love blackfin. What are we thinking on this one? Kingfish? Oh. Yeah, we're probably almost limited on. Oh. Here he comes. Oh. Yeah. Juice ball. Mm hmm. Heck yeah. That was awesome shot right there. That was some National Geographic shit right there. What's your favorite way to eat blackfin tuna? I like a little sear. Yeah, a little sear is good. My girl makes these, uh, some kind of seasoning out of it, like the sesame seeds and stuff. Yeah, I like making poke bowls. I used to make sushi. Oh, my. Oh, damn. That's, yeah, that's a good one. Woohoo! She's got some good colors on it. That's another fish on. It's staying deep, whatever it is. Might be a tuna again. That'd be our last one for the limit. 
I can't believe it's two two tuna personnel. I remember it used to be like catch as many as you want. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Oh. Nice black Oh. Holy s Bonita. A stud muffin bonita. Yeah. Strips. Did I I thought that was a black fin, then I was like, that's a big black fin. Oh he's jumping! Oh, there's one I see him jumping out there. Get this one in we'll deal with yours. Oh I see him jumping out there. Yeah, no mercy. Damn. He must be hooked good if that uh, yeah, that's a kind of a nice one. Woo! We got another mahi on the on the feather rod. Whoa! <laughs> Freaking beautiful fish right there! Wow! We're eating good tonight. You got some bloody hands there. Yeah. 220 feet? Yeah. All right. Oh, we got ourselves quite the little. Yeah, I don't know what's going on here. Nice. The Mahi are out on a boot today. Oh, yeah, there's a fish on there. Oh, he pulled off the right there. Oh, no. It was a tuna. I saw him. You got a dolphin. Oh, another Mahi. Oh yeah, he's a white and blue one. Those are cool looking. Oh, Rainbow Runner? I never caught those. I thought his tail looked a little weird. That's probably what you're trying to play Wow, yeah, Rainbow Runner. Are they good? Yeah, those are good like sashimi fish. They are. Sashimi grade. Oh yeah, another mahi on. The Mahi be dancing today. It's a Mahi rodeo. Let's see if he gives us another jump. All right, where's he at? He's probably tired now from all that jumping. Woo wee. He's just getting ragdolled in. Oh yeah, he's a little one. Nothing to write back home to mom about. Yeah. Freedom! That was a good, he, he had like a little extra flop going out there. You gotta actually reel this one. Damn, where's the button? It's not jumping, is it? You might have a tuna then. Maybe we'll get super lucky and get a, a wahoo on that feather. Oh! That's a that's the smallest tuna I've seen today. I can't even feel it. <laughs> That's a bait size. Like, stick them whole in the deep freezer. Yeah. Oh, there's something on there. He's taking line. 80 pounder. Oh, sh he's, Dude, he's, he's still pulling. He's, he's going. Put it this way all the other ones we've been catching haven't done that. Oh yeah, it could be a turtle. A turtle? <laughs> you think it's a sailfish? <laughs> Dude, if he starts tail walking, I'm grabbing my camera. Ooh, come on. I I don't know. I'm thinking it could be a wahoo. Could be a wahoo. You think it's a sailfish? Did you yeah. jump and not tell us? You saw it jump, didn't you? He saw something. He's not telling us something. Oh man. He's stalling the reel. This is hard work, man. Wow, this fish has, there is so much tension on this. Yeah, he's a stud muffin. He's been drinking that protein powder. That's a big fish. Come on. He does not want to, he does not want to come in. There's so much tension on this. I can't anything with that. That's why I keep thinking I'm the reels off. He's taking line again. He's taking line. We're at 850 on the reader. 
So he's way out there. Oh, he's taking line. Oh, damn. Oh my God. He's going to save his friend. All right, that line is pulling out again. All right, this is going to be a long fight. He's at 900. He's got nine. Is that feet on there? 90 yards. Oh, okay. So he's 90 yards out there. He's still taking line. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he's a fat daddy. All right. Gaining on him again. As long as he doesn't get sharked out there. All right. Imagine a wahoo ate the wahoo. Or like bit him in half. Right. Big mako just. Have you caught a mako? I've like never caught one. Yeah. My buddy caught a mako and they let it go. I, I was take like. Mako to the house. Oh, yeah. I'm coming back even that. Oh. Right? Exactly. That's I'll you sell them or give it away. Yeah. But... My buddy cooked some up on the grill. It was actually pretty good. Really? I mean, we've, we've caught some 40 pound Wahoo that came in easier than this without electric, but he could just have them. We didn't have planers on either. Look at that bird flying around. Yeah, he's probably checking him out. He's like, holy shit, holy shit, world record Wahoo right here. What's going on? Oh, I see did you see that? I saw, whoa, what's going on back there? That's not a good sign. Oh no, it's flashing around. I hope a shark didn't grab him. Why does it look so small? Why? Maybe I can zoom in on it and figure out what it is. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, it's a Wahoo. Yeah. Oh yeah, I seen the tail. Yeah, that's got that. Taking the planer off. Oh yeah! Woo! Yeah! Yeah! yeah. yeah. Boy! Wahoo! Hell yeah! Hey! That's a nice one. Nice job, Bob. Whoa! Good work, dog. Damn, he's got them fat zebra stripes on him. Wow. Yeah. Nice one. Dude, we got a nice freaking collection of right? fish in the we box. Got the spread out. I'm so glad we got one. That's so nice. Dude. Yeah, I hyped it up and everything else. <laughs> yeah. We're gonna get one. We're gonna get one. We're Dude. gonna get one. Bam! Wahoo, mahi, tuna, tuna kingfish. That's a Florida slam. Hey, that's yeah. a slam. That's a slam. Hell yeah. Slam dunk. Still early morning. All right. Another bite on, another fish on. Fish sticks. What oh, you got, could it be? You got a nice way to reel in. And oh. that one off on that. Yeah, hang crank it because you're a sportsman. <laughs> sportsman cranking. Hang cranking. How does it feel to put in some work? Ooh, that should be illegal right there. Hand cranking the electric. Show them how it's done. Some birds over here too. This guy's diving. Oh yeah. What? Yeah. Damn, he got off. No bait? Cut it off. Cut off the bait. Wow, that's like straight up like blown off of there. We on this time? Bam! Moby Dick back there. Get the harpoon. All right, where's this bad boy at? Haven't seen anything yet. Is that a blackfin? Yeah. Oh, kingfish. Yeah. Hey, that was a little big. Yeah, he's a ch he's he's a thick one. Yeah. Girthy one. He hooked right in the lip, like there's a little lip piercing. How you doing? Not being easy. There we go. Beautiful. Is that a good bite? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, oh, he's taking the line. Damn. <laughs> Ooh, hoo -hoo. There he comes, coming in on the top. Yeah. What? What is that? Like it looked like a tuna, but he's kind of long. Oh my god, look at the frigate. Oh, the frigate bird wants him. 
Wait, is the long line stuck? It's a barracuda. I think this might be going under. Woo-wee! I think that frigate bird is chasing this lure back. Oh damn, that's a big old barracuda right there. Oh please. No, he's he's stop with the frigate bird. He's got it. No, I, he tried to pick it up, I think. He let go. <laughs> I'm gonna put this away because birds seem to like to grab my rods. Come on, let's let's catch that frigate bird. Cat frigate catch and cook. Alright, back to the motherland. Home sweet home, back at the base. Yeah, what's up, I'm Heiko. Nice to meet you. At the killer dock. Man, in the last like two years, I've seen these killer docks just popping up everywhere. Oh, baby. Good looking bag. Oh yeah, we haven't even put the mahi on there yet. Damn, I don't remember catching this many fish. <laughs> yeah, that's a chunky one, though. Yeah, he's a chunky Okay. Wait, did that come out of his stomach? Yeah. Is that a bonita? What is it? That was all that was it. The stomach parasite or whatever that thing is. Mm. Oh. So what's this? Yo, fly. Flying fish. Zombie. That's a big bait for the size of that mahi. I know, it's like you did it in one bite. Look who we got here. We're in the kitchen. We got our wahoo. We just ate some blackfin tuna. That was the last episode you just saw. But now we're gonna make some wahoo. We're gonna eat some of it raw. We're gonna sear some of it. We're gonna do a little taste test. Wahoo versus blackfin tuna. That left me a little bite there. Big, big shout out to Jordan and Blake. They really got them fish dialed in. I had a great time out there. If you want to see all the fish that they've been catching lately, go follow them on Instagram. Here's their Instagrams. Go check them out. Blake definitely knows how to slay the big ones. But now let's do a little bit of cooking, shall we? We got our skillet here, which I'm going to heat up. We're going to do like a medium high. Add a little butter on there. Just a little piece of butter. And we're gonna roll the wahoo in a seasoning. So I just made this. If you watched the last episode, you already know what's in here, but it's a bunch of my seasonings. We got the South Florida Fish Channel Bayside. We got blackening on here. We got just a dash of the Carolina Reaper. We got the garlic and onion and the lemon pepper. And yeah, those are the seasonings. We also put a little bit of black sesame seeds and roasted sesame seeds in here and a touch of paprika. So that's our seasoning and we're going to roll the wahoo in that. So let's take ourselves a nice little chunk of wahoo. 
Get a paper towel, because we want a nice dry piece of Wahoo. Holy smokes, look at that piece of Wahoo. That is pristine. I mean, absolutely pristine piece of fish. Have you ever seen anything so beautiful? Now we're gonna cut it in half. <laughs> oh, mm. okay, we're gonna take our half, one of our halves, and we're gonna roll it in our seasoning. Now we're gonna take this sexy mama drama and we're gonna drop it right into that hot butter. Ooh, it's sizzling right away. While that's sizzling, searing up, actually that is ready for a flip. Stand her up on her side like that, perfect timing. And then we are going to slice and dice our raw wahoo right here. Oh my gosh, I swear, Wahoo is like butter. It's just an amazing fish. Now we are going to final flip on its side. Look at her go, she's done. Boom. All right, let's see how easily this cuts. Oh, much better than the tuna. This one actually holds its shape decently. Ooh! Put some soy sauce right into that little bowl because when it comes to raw fish, I kind of always need soy sauce. And then here we have the champion of the night. And that is just looking so fabulous. I don't think it could have gone more perfect, but now the real question is, what does it taste like? Let's give it a try. And so this video comes to an end or to the ending where I get to eat the fish. That means I get to take my GoPro off. Ah, it feels so good when you finally get to take the camera off. Now it's just time to enjoy. Why don't we start with some raw Wahoo? Just some delicious, straight up Wahoo. Got a little bit of soy sauce that I'm dipping it into. I also love wasabi, but uh, I'm gonna try it without wasabi. I have some if I need it. This is a big, this is actually a big piece of, uh, big piece of Wahoo. Down the hatch. Mmm. Oh, it's like, yeah, Wahoo is hard to beat. That's one of the fresh Wahoo sushi. It's melt in your mouth. There's really no fishy flavors, nothing off-putting about it. It's cold, delicious, buttery, just melts in your mouth. Now, how does, look at this, how does the seared one taste? I'm not even gonna use soy sauce for this one because I'm sure there's a lot of flavor packed into this sucker. Oh yeah. Wow, you got all the flavors of the seasonings. A Little bit of crispiness, not a lot, but there is a tiny little crispiness on that outer layer, which is nice because it adds a little extra something to the soft butteriness of the the actual wahoo, the raw part on the inside. Mmm. Mmm. Now here's a piece of the black pin tuna that I cooked up the same way. I rolled it in seasonings and seared it. Let's give that a try. Honestly, I would put that up there, like right up there with the wahoo. When it's seared, man, that is really good. Those are both winners to me. Equal, equal winners. When it comes to straight raw, like if I had a piece of raw tuna, I think the Wahoo wins in that regard. But when it's seared, that's a tie. Man, what a great trip we had out there. Tomorrow morning, Dan is coming over. I told him we're kicking off the dock at seven in the morning. Yep, he said he's down. I said, just bring ice in your vertical jigging rod. So tomorrow we're gonna do some early morning trolling. Then we're gonna do some vertical jigging. So hit the subscribe button and stay around for that episode and I'll see you guys there. Cheers. Cheers.